Good afternoon from Alpha Cars. My name is Tom, coming to you from our Northampton location, and today we'll be taking a look at this 1986 Mercedes-Benz 560 SL. This 560 SL is showing just over 60,000 original miles. If you would like to see a high-resolution, detailed photo set, please reference the listing at alphacars.com. There, of course, you will also find a free included Carfax report, alongside a long list of technical data related to the vehicle's remaining tire life, the current brake condition, as well as individual readings from each panel using our paint depth gauge. But today I'll take you on a quick condition overview on both the interior and the exterior, as well as showing you some of its most notable features. Starting here on the exterior, you'll find it's finished in an iconic Mercedes-Benz color from this era known as Signal Red. In this instance, it's in beautiful condition. You can see this uh, stunning gloss quality on the paint. Just went through our detail shop. It received a one-stage polish as well as a fresh coat of wax really presents beautifully in natural light as you see it here. Moving down the bodywork here you will see this really nice pinstripe work as well. Kind of a two-tone silver and black pinstripe job. Looks fantastic as you can see. Adds just a nice little bit of elegance to the red paint and you can see the way they finished it off there looks really stunning. All of the chrome trim surrounding the windows and on the doors is free of any pitting or discoloration. It looks really nice. And you'll also find the paint on the factory original hardtop has also held up beautifully. This is of course included with the vehicle with a stand to carry it around in your garage. See the rear glass on the hardtop is held up nicely. You can see a little bit of an imperfection there on the edge of the glass. Certainly doesn't affect visibility. As we look at these 15 inch wheels, you find them to be in very nice condition. Minor imperfections to be found on that flat surface in the center, but largely they look fantastic on all four corners. You can see here, no different in the front. Looking at the front fascia, we'll find the headlights to be in really nice condition, crystal clear lenses. All of the chrome trim, including the bumper and the surround on the grill just there, looks really nice. You will notice a small imperfection there in the far corner just there, but Again, nothing that greatly affects the outward appearance. Here on the lower kind of splitter, you'll find a couple minor cracks. But again, it's a very well hidden part. Don't see it too much. And as you can see there, just minor imperfections. Of course, we'd like to point those out. Looking down the passenger side, you can see the pinstriping carries over here as well. You'll find the front wheel here in the passenger side in equally nice condition to the others. And the same story goes for all of this chrome trim. Looks fantastic, even on the mirrors there. No pitting, it's got a very nice finish on it. As you can see here, another 15 inch wheel, really nice condition. All of the rubber end pieces here on the bumpers look fantastic, have a nice deep shine to them, and you won't see any major scuffing on the edges. Tail light lenses are in perfect condition. You can see all the badging here at the rear is free of any pitting. Presents beautifully. And of course, as I step back, you can really see just how nice and glossy that finish is on the paint. Really looks fantastic. And they could not have chosen a better color for this 560. So next up, I'm gonna make my way to the interior, give you a quick tour there, and then we're gonna fire it up, let you hear the engine running. So I'll be right back. Okay, as we make our way inside the SL here, You'll find a really nice combination with that red exterior and the kind of tan leather, a couple brown accents throughout as well, and the black dashboard and steering wheel. Really a nice package. I love the way all of these colors play together. I think they look fantastic. As you can see here, the carpets are all in really nice shape, super clean, just gone through by our detailing department as well. And as you can see here in the back, the seats also look very nice. Looking at the driver's seat, you'll find minimal wear here on the outer bolster, which is where you'd expect to find the most wear in the whole interior. Very nice. And on the passenger seat, very similar condition. Seats are very comfortable. Nice plush seat, as you would expect from an SL of this era. I'm gonna fire it up for you, of course. So, see, I've inserted the key just there. Fires up in just a couple cranks and idles smoothly immediately. See that light is about to go out as well. So as you look throughout the interior, the dash is crack free, very nice condition. You can see that leather's got a nice shine to it with no discoloration or staining or tears. Looks really nice. 
See here moving down throughout the center console, that wooden trim looks excellent as well. It's got a nice shine to it, and it's not chipping away as you may see on some vehicles from this era. If I open up the ashtray just there behind the gear selector, you'll find it to be in this nice polished chrome. Looks fantastic. And looking at the door cards, they look equally nice. All in all, a very, very nice interior in fantastic condition. So next up, I'm gonna pop the hood, let you see the engine and hear it running as we just started it up. So I'll be right back with that. So I've opened up the hood. Here you can see the 5.5 liter V8 idling incredibly smoothly. Of course, being a Mercedes-Benz from this era, one of their top priorities would have been just a smooth acceleration, really as if you don't know the engine's even there as you drive the vehicle. As you can see, the engine's hardly even moving, idling very happily, no strange sounds. I'll let you hear it uninterrupted for a moment. Largely a very clean engine bay. As you look around the motor, you can see even the exhaust headers look very nice here on the passenger side bank. Engine covers nice and clean. You won't see any corrosion here where water might collect at the nose of the hood. Even the hood liner looks straight out of the factory. It looks very nice. Close it down gently here. Take you around to the trunk as well. Open it up here, plenty of room as you can see. All of the carpet is in very nice condition. See, you do have the original floor mats as well for both the driver and the passenger side. Do have a couple small accessories there, including some touch-up paint. But as you can see, very nice in the trunk, very spacious. If you'd like to see all of the pictures of the soft top and the vehicle without a roof at all, uh, those are all included in the high resolution photo set that you can find at alphacars.com. If you have any further questions related to this 560 SL, please reference said listing and there you're gonna find all of the relevant contact information. We'd be happy to talk to you and answer any of your questions. Thank you so much for your time and have a wonderful day. We hope to hear from you soon. Thank you.